aka Music City, also the only airport where you'll find people singing live country music all the time. Hey y'all, welcome to Nashville. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to take you guys along. This week I'm exploring the city of Nashville, which is actually where I'm from, with my babes that wander, my amazing travel group. I'm so excited to share with you all all the fun spots that we hit up and some really cool places. Nashville has really changed so much since I moved to LA, so I'm really experiencing all of this for the first time too. Follow along and make sure to subscribe if you enjoy travel videos and let's explore Nash Vegas. It is my first full day here in Nashville. I am spending the day with my sisters here at Arrington Vineyards. It's just honestly the perfect day to come here. This is a really great spot if you are visiting Nashville to come visit. If you want to just enjoy beautiful outdoors, drink some actually surprisingly good wine. I'm going to just enjoy some fun company and some really great live music. So I'm excited to just chill and relax today and then join up with the babes that wander tomorrow for a fun-filled Nashville trip. Arrington Vineyards is in Williamson County, so it's a little bit of a trek if you're in Nashville, but it's definitely worth it if you have a day free and you love wine. Basically, you can come here and buy some bottles of their wine and you can bring your own picnic, which is what we did, but they also have plenty of cheese and different things for purchase in this shop if you just want to get everything there. But I absolutely loved visiting this place and we had such a great afternoon. <laughs> we got our wine. <laughs> got the setup. Wow, look at that cheese board you made. This is a, it's a rose blend. Yes. It's a blend of Merlot, Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Moiret. Wow. It's a year 2020 from Arrington, Tennessee. It's dry. Still has hints of fruit um, and a nice taste. Yes. Um, the greatest thing about coming here is just sitting back, relaxing, enjoying the outdoors, the fresh air, delicious wine, maybe a couple bees, but they didn't really do any damage. And of course, just taking a little stroll through the vines. So we just got in to our little home away from home here in Nashville at the Waverly. It is a really cool, like, loft style apartment. You definitely feel like this is like your home. It doesn't feel like a hotel at all, which I love. So I'm gonna take you on a quick little House tour, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Here is the kitchen, which Greta is so nicely modeling for us here. We have some fun bar stools right here. Living room area. Really awesome, like super high ceilings. It is bedroom number one. Nice little bathroom area, shower. Let's go upstairs to my room. And here is where I'm gonna be staying and another full bathroom. And that is our hat store. Oh, Greta. Got everything set up so nice for everyone. Made us these little welcome to Nashville itinerary packets. You're so cute. Hostess with the mostest. <laughs> we got some stuff from Wrangler and a couple like local brands and Seychelles to shoot while we're here. So it's gonna be like Christmas when they get here. Greta and I also fully enjoyed this outdoor courtyard area over a couple classes of wine while we waited for the rest of the girls to get in. All right, so everyone's here. We're getting dressed up. We're going to call 30 Club, Justin Timberlake's new spot. Maybe we'll see JT. <laughs> Our spot at the Waverly was in such a perfect location because it's a quiet area, but it was a really short drive into downtown Nashville, which was perfect. <laughs> Broadway's newest hotspot, opened by none other than Justin Timberlake, is such a cool spot. So they've got a honky tonk downstairs, a supper club upstairs, as well as a fun rooftop space, which we fully enjoyed. The vibe of 1230 Club is definitely much more elevated than most of the spots that you're gonna find on Broadway. And I really appreciated that. As much as I love a good honky tonk, it just felt a little bit more chic and sophisticated. Boo. 
food. <laughs> yeah, like, like hot chicken. It's hot and then there's Nashville. Yes, there's Nashville hot chicken. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading into Fifth and Broadway. It's a really cool food hall here in downtown Nashville. It's kind of new and they have so much awesome food. You can find really what everyone eats. So we're gonna go get some grub. This yes. jacket is everything that Nashville yeah. needs. This food hall is probably one of the greatest things that has come to downtown Nashville recently. I've been here before and you can really find so many great food options from local food vendors, but it was closed by the time we got there. Is it closed? We can go to Hattie B's. Lauren has to have Hattie B's. I've never had Hattie B's. You've never had Hattie B's? No, from I have. I, what, listen. Is it listen. I know, I know, Elise. I've never had Hattie B's. I guess we're doing this. <laughs> I called the head of Payless. I'm like, I'm dead. Okay, you will literally keep over and die. <laughs> it ain't no joke. Because natural hot. Medium for beginners. Medium is a comfortable amount of hot where you still enjoy the meal. But if you go any hotter, you have to be prepared that you might be miserable the rest of your meal. And you'll have a weird poop the next day. It ain't no joke. A real talk. Greta said it and I didn't have it. I got it grilled because I'm trying to be healthy. <laughs> that was so good. Are you glad you tried it? Look at that sandwich. Damn, girl. Good morning. We are just trying to get ourselves together to go out. Today, we are headed to the Gibson Garage first on our itinerary, and then we have some fun like shopping around our little neighborhood here in 12 South. Gotta get these girls going. Lauren! <laughs> we are here at the Gibson Garage. We're gonna take a little tour, check out all these amazing iconic guitars they have here, learn a little bit about how people can come here and make their own custom Gibson guitar. Cool quintessential Nashville thing to pop in and do. So let's go check it out. Tucked into the heart of Music City, the Gibson Garage is a must-see, hands-on, can't-miss mecca for pickers, shredders, and any lover of American music. Try out a guitar, take a lesson, learn about Gibson's history, or you can even see a live show on their stage. And like I said, you can even build your own custom Gibson guitar, which is really cool. our agenda was heading back to the area that we were staying in 12 south to do a little shopping first we wanted to stop into crew to grab some fresh sunnies for our trip hey, who's familiar with crew does anybody like know our brand at all i love this feel this yeah so, great. Great. so we are a completely independent hour company out of new orleans everything you see in here is inspired by the city of new orleans in fact our most iconic frame st louis here which most people recognize that no crew. This bridge is inspired by the ironwork of the French Quarter. Wow. So if you've been to New Orleans, you kind of yeah. probably see it. Everything we make is made with the best materials and eyewear. We have a warranty called Second Chances, which uh, guarantees to replace your first damaged or destroyed frame for free. It's pretty cool. It doesn't matter what happens, dogs included. Feel free to just grab things, try things on. Yeah. Too many choices. <laughs> glass beads that are, this is actually like a heated pan, oh. and it warms the acetate, this material up to the point where it becomes a little malleable so you can make, make adjustments. Okay. Let's see if that feels a bit better. Oh yeah, definitely. Yes. Slide down. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. thing besides amazing shopping in 12 South is so many amazing fun murals that are everywhere in just this little stretch. You can get some really fun pictures all over just this little area. This Believe in Nashville mural is probably the most popular. There are several all over the city, but I think this one is the original. Of 
course, shopping and shooting cute pictures definitely helps you work an appetite. So we went into Bar Taco, which is such a good little spot in 12 South for delicious and pretty affordable fresh, delicious Mexican food. They also have tons of vegetarian options if you are vegetarian. I love that you could order on your phone and have your own separate tab if you're in a group. So handy and the food was so good. Yet another outfit change. If you've seen any of my travel vlogs, then you know. It's all about the outfit changes, multiple times a day. I'm gonna go get um, an astrology reading from Brad. Oh, this should be very interesting. Look at the stairs. First of all, love the space. This is actually an Airbnb that you could rent out and stay in if you wanted to. I'll put the info down in the description box. Brad had our charts all ready to go and printed out for us. And I just want to say, I am a total newbie at all of this stuff. In my early tw 20s, and I just sort of asked, I was like, what, what can I do to have organic compassion? So a couple weeks later, I discovered astrology. This is my life's passion. So the astrology that I practice is called evolutionary astrology. And what that means is that each and every single one of you is not the same person that you were at five years old, 15 years old, 30 years old, or who you're going to be at 40, 50, 60 years old. The neat thing about astrology is that there are some things that we can always count on. Saturn return that happens right at 30 years old. Different Saturn aspects that happen between seven, eight years old. Everyone's like knowledge level of astrology. I think that's a good question. I'm like basic, barely know anything. Okay. I know that I'm a Gemini and that's about it. All right. And everybody's okay. Gemini. <laughs> now for the fun part, Brad sort of walked us through how our charts and sort of past lives intersected with each other's. This is going to be important. 16 degrees, 43 minutes. Zero degrees, 46 minutes. I take two charts and put them together. I'll say take a Venus that's in Virgo, and if another person has Venus in Virgo and it's at one degree or less from being away from each other, then that's a conjunction, and I'm going to look at that. Jessica left the lease of the elder. <laughs> you bitch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird how like you ask these questions and like some of us know right away when it's us. Like This was definitely such a fun experience and I highly recommend booking a session with Brad if you're traveling to Nashville with a group. We had such a fun time. Is it really a restaurant or a bar in Nashville if there's not somebody singing live music? <laughs> definitely not. For dinner that night, we checked out the Oso oh pink and very Instagrammable Hampton Social for dinner. You have to try their frosé. We loved the flatbreads as an appetizer. They were so delicious. And then they have some really good items on their menu like the salmon and this lobster roll. Wow. And when I saw they had a pink glittery drink on the menu, of course, I had to try it. After dinner, we headed to Patterson House, which is not too far away over in the Music Row area. This was my favorite bar when I used to live in Nashville. It was like probably one of the first really cool bars that came to town, and it's still really awesome. I love all their Prohibition and Pre-Prohibition style classic cocktails and these cinnamon sugar donut holes. You have to order them. They're so good. It's just a really cool, cozy, kind of moody vibe, and I still love it. It's still such a great spot. Yes. This morning was kind of a walk down memory lane for me as we headed into Hillsborough Village. This is the neighborhood that I used to love to hang out in. It's really close to Vanderbilt and Belmont Colleges, so a lot of really fun stores and coffee shops here. Oh my god! That boutique has a different name now, but I used to freaking love that little store. We are in Hillsborough Village. We're gonna grab breakfast. This is actually the area that I used to love to come and hang out before I moved to LA. I actually performed in a play right in this theater forever ago, so so many memories. All right, so they put CBD in their lattes here and I got the sweet potato chai with CBD added to it. So I'll try this. Oh my God, this is so good. This might be like the best chai latte I've ever had in my life. No lie. Look at that breakfast board. That's amazing. Lauren, is this your first time in Nashville? It is my first time. What do and you I think love, of it? Yeah. I love all the murals. I love all the bright lights and marquees. I feel like everything's really Instagrammable. 
breakfast, we headed to the pedestrian bridge for our flightographer photo shoot. If you didn't know about flightographer, you can book photo shoots with professional local photographers in most major cities in the world. And it's such a great souvenir to bring back with you from your travels. Just finished up our little shoot with flightographer, which is so awesome, by the way, if you're traveling and you want really nice photos, you can book a flightographer shoot or session in most major cities and it's always such a great idea their outfit change and then we're walking across the pedestrian bridge to broadway snap some pics in our very i don't know for me channeling a nashville country music star today probably the most iconic place that you have to see when you come to nashville is broadway it is so fun to just come down here and go bar hopping and just take in some great, very talented musicians that are all playing live music all down this street. Greta and I are out here on Broadway. It's like not even noon yet. This place is already getting really crowded. Just trying to get some fun shots for Graham. Free country music star you could imagine has their own bar down here. They're all like multiple floors. There's live music in literally every single one on every floor so you can kind of just come down here walk down the sidewalk listen to the music and if anything kind of like strikes you just pop in and keep bar hopping down the street it's really really fun <laughs> Another outfit change. We're in East Nashville. We're gonna do a food tour. I'm so excited. We're, I don't know, I'm hungry, so I'm ready to eat. So. I love to take a food or culinary tour in places that I visit, and Secret Food Tours is such a great option if you're here in Nashville. They offer food tours all over the city in different neighborhoods. This was the Secret Food Tour of East Nashville, and we started at Noble. Oh, look at the baby. He just loves people. You all match. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is Noble, the dog whom this bar and restaurant is named after. He was so cute. Our guide was incredibly knowledgeable about not only the food at each stop, but the history behind the food as well. We tried Nashville hot chicken on our first stop at Nobles, and it was good. Do you guys think about the hot chicken? So yeah. hot. Yeah, the green tomatoes. Fried yeah, green the fried green tomatoes were really good. Yeah. Bring jeans that uh, are very tight on me and run a food tour. So I don't know if that was the best idea. Pray for me. The next stop on our little tour was Eadley's Barbecue and this is a great little chain that is all around Nashville. We tried their barbecue nachos which was so different because they're over their homemade kettle chips. Definitely unique and so good. The third stop was Joyland which is a fun new concept by chef Sean Brock designed to spread joy throughout East Nashville serving up quality comfort food. When you come here their biscuits are not to be missed. They are so buttery and delicious. You gotta put a little butter and jam on them and oh my god I was in Heaven. I don't know if I've had a biscuit this good in a long time. Our last stop was Hunter's, which is a local Nashville food hall. There's a bunch of local food vendors in here serving up delicious fare from just different cuisines. But we got the barbecue sandwich from Hugh Bates, followed by this amazing dessert, chocolate baked something or other from Citizen Market. Everything on this tour was so good. My jeans definitely fit a lot tighter after I got done, but it was so worth it. I'll be sure to link in the description box the info for this tour, as well as Get Your Guide, which is an amazing resource that we booked this tour through. It's such a great way to find local tours and experiences any place that you travel throughout the world. Check the description box for more info. After all that delicious food, we headed to the Fairlane Hotel for happy hour at their really cool all pop-up bar. It smells so much like fall. This is a really cool space at the Fairlane where they switch out the theme of this pop-up bar seasonally. So when you visit, it might be a totally different theme. It's been a disco theme in the past. They flipped it to be Christmas after our visit here, but definitely check it out because the drinks were so cool and the space was really just fun and immersive for the theme. But we're doing 
you're looking for a really fun nightlife spot in downtown Nashville, Mechanical Pins Company is really fun. They've got all these fun old pinball machines and foosball, bocce ball, so many different fun games and activities to play. But of course, the main one is duck bowling, which is basically a miniature version of regular bowling. There's not even like holes for your finger. It's what? There's no holes for your finger. There isn't? It's like a bocce ball. <laughs> so I'm not the best bowler, but you know what? A fun time was had by all. Another quintessential Nashville spot that you have to check out when you're visiting is the Loveless Cafe. This is a historical spot over on the Natchez Trace Parkway. They serve up traditional Southern comfort food, but really it's all about the biscuits here. So many people have come for these biscuits, including many famous country music artists, as you can see on their walls. And it is such a cozy little place to visit. Definitely make sure to make a reservation because this place gets very packed on the weekends. Everybody wants these biscuits. After breakfast, we headed back over to East Nashville again to visit Lemon Lane, which is a really cool beauty and wellness shop that you can visit and you can make your own custom facial oil, which is what we set out to do today. If you're a beauty and skincare lover, this is definitely something to put on your Nashville itinerary. Kind of going over your skin, whether you want to maintain or like have any sort of like tools or corrections or anything like that. After rejuvenating, I need to work on this texture because I would like my pores to completely disappear. <laughs> First, you fill out a little questionnaire sort of telling them what you want to work on and what sort of skin problems or areas you want to address with your facial oil. I can explain all of this though, actually. Everything you guys have in front of you is going to be kind of your final product. It's different infusions depending on kind of your goals that you pick. Um, so those are in-house infusions. We do that, like we put all those herbs, stuff like that in there for 30 days. They really like infuse in cocoa oil and little dropper bottles there is where you're going to get most of your active ingredient as well as smell benefit. So if there's something that I know sometimes. Next, your skincare mixologist whips up your custom blend for you. A little bit more if you want. And voila, your own custom facial oil. They even give you little stickers to customize your bottle if you want. Oh, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Nashville vlog. I had to cut my time with the Babes That Wander a little bit short because my husband, Nate, really wanted to go skiing. But make sure to check out the Babes That Wander version of this vlog. I made that video too. I'll link that right down in the description box if you wanna see the rest of the fun that the girls got up to while we were in Nashville. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I would so love for you to join my YouTube fam. While you're here, make sure to check out a couple more videos. I picked these out. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're really gonna enjoy these. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.